Welcome back to the channel, guys. And in this video, this will be a part one out of two for um, the character Asimo. I'm not really sure how to pronounce his name, <clears throat> but the bomb guy. Now, in this particular video, because I'm still working on him, trying to figure out the best way to build him, this part is just a showcasing of him more in depth than just reading it than reading his abilities so we'll be showcasing a couple things here i'm i'm probably gonna throw some gameplay towards the end just so that way you guys can see him in action but anyways uh that's what this video is gonna be a part one of two for the descendant acmo <clears throat> now one thing that i want to say is <laughs> i see in uh some comments about uh my shirt or like my lack of a shirt well here's the thing guys with inflation and all that good stuff, hey, your boy can't afford a shirt. And if you help a brother out just by subscribing to the channel, liking the video, dropping a comment or something like that, helping the algo, maybe one day I'll be able to afford a shirt, okay? So, <laughs> anyways, all jokes aside, uh, let's stop wasting time and just get straight into this. All right, so Isimo is um, somewhat of a awkward character to play. Um, if I'm being honest here, um, he's, I don't know, he's an awkward character to play. I'll say that off start, but I do see that he does have some potential, and I'll explain where I think his potential lies. So let's start out by going over uh, his abilities. So, Isimo's, um first ability is called Time Bomb. So... The skill description of Time Bomb is it fires a Sticky Bomb forward and the Sticky Bomb attaches to an enemy or terrain on contact. So you can throw this and it's it's like a Sticky Bomb, right? <clears throat> Basic information, you get stacks of five. We'll talk about the stacks in just a minute, but you have a, you can get a maximum stack of five. Well, you can get, we'll, we'll, I'll explain. So you get a maximum stack of five. Your cooldown for each uh, bomb to recharge is 12 seconds. MP cost is 12. The skill effect is a burst damage type <clears throat> and the skill power for each one of these mines is 407.3 percent now remember the percentage is based off of your overall skill power so just for those who don't know what that means is you see this reactor and how the skill power right here says 11,724 now look i don't have the best one for him i need to go farm me and get me one for him i just got to see if the rotation lines up for uh this week or maybe if I have to wait till next week or something like that. <clears throat> but I'll go farm it. But right now, this is what we got. So we're getting that skill power, which is 11,000. Let's look at our total skill power here with him. 16,414. So our abilities is doing 407.3% of that skill power. So that's how that calculates, okay? Just for those who don't know. Anyways, explosive damage uh, range is only 3 meters. And the max expendable range on that is 200 percent <clears throat> projectile speed increase zero percent you can increase how fast the bombs travel so there is a mod for that and i'll show you that it is a good quality of life mod but it isn't a necessary mod now so that's your first ability click up and dry drop some mines and you know they explode your second ability now your second ability is called blast <clears throat> the description detonate the attached bombs and damage dealt increases with the number of attached bombs Basic information, cooldown is 10 seconds for this ability, and the MP cost of it is 15. Detonate, uh, damage increase per bomb is 25%, and the skill power increase max 5 times. So, remember the first ability, how it said uh, maximum stacks is 5. So with your second ability, you can get a maximum stack of 5 attached bombs, and you'll get a um, increase... And uh, power or skill power increase 25% per one stack, right? So, what is that? 125? See, 25, 50, 75, 100, 125. So, 125% is what you can get um, for your um, skill power increase. Now, remember, it's skill power. So, that number that I showed you earlier, that you get an increase on that. If you get, well, for each stack you have. So, that's your second ability. You just detonate the bombs. The more more stacks up to five, the more damage you'll get. Um, your third ability is called uh, guided landmine. 
So the des skill description, place a guided landmine. Once placed, the guided landmine flies to an enemy within its uh, detonation range and attaches to it. If there are obstacles in its path, it attaches to the terrain. So if you throw it down and a monster decides, or an enemy comes behind a wall, or is running, and then there's a rock in the way, and it lines up, you know what I mean? It'll get stuck to the rock instead of on the enemy. <clears throat> so there's that. Now the information of this. Um, maximum stacks is three. So you can only get a maximum of three stacks on this one. Now your stack cooldown. Now, uh, correction. Maximum stack for these abilities. Now, although the second ability is a maximum stack of five, so you only can get the 25% for five stacks. Um, with these abilities, these the first one and the second one, the maximum stacks means outside of your cooldown. After everything cooled down, you only can hold three pretty much, right? It won't cool down and keep giving you more. So you can't have 700 mines. You know what I mean? You only get three and then, the cool, then it just stops until you use it and the cooldown starts again. So... With this ability, the, the guided landmines, you get three. For the first ability, you get five. So that's that's what that is for these, but you still get a maximum of five stacks total for your second ability. Doesn't matter if you use all five of the first ability and then all three of the second ability, it's not gonna amplify it the 25% eight times. It's only gonna stop at five, but you still can connect all eight if you want. And get the maximum five stack percentage increase. So there's that. I hope you guys understood what I meant. <laughs> but anyways, so your maximum stacks on that is three, so you can hold three of them. And your stack cooldown is 14 seconds. So 14 seconds per one. MP cost is 18. So the guided landmine detonation range is 10 meters, and that's the thing. And then um or detection range, my bad. That that's the big circle that you see on the, the picture, the big old orange circle. Um, the detection duration is 40 seconds, so that mine will stay on the ground for 40 seconds before it automatically explodes. Um, burst damage on this one is 1,061.9% of your skill power, so it's pretty good. And explosive damage range is 3 meters, so once it explodes, it only explodes in a 3 meter radius. And you can increase that by 200%. And projectile speed 0%. We don't have the mod on to make it faster. So that's your third ability. Now your ultimate ability, like your... Your fourth ability or whatever you however you want to say that is called arc explosion <clears throat> skill description dash forward and deal damage and inflicts knockback on colliding targets during movement um interacting with the skill button again or any movement deals burst damage to nearby enemies enemies hit with the explosions lose their buffs when the scale ends grants self madness so you you get madness a madness buff on yourself and you can debuff enemies with this. So let's talk about the information. Basic information, cooldown of this ultimate ability is 80 seconds. MP cost of this is 65. So if we're being honest, oh, actually, let me finish this, then I'll, then I'll say that. So your skill effect, your movement speed is uh, increased amount is 120%. So you move 120% faster. Your damage is skill power of 85, or skill, the damage is 85.8% .8 of your skill power. And your burst damage is 7,414% of your skill power. Now, if you want to know what that mean, what they mean by damage and what they mean by burst damage, <clears throat> your damage is, as you see in the video, when you're running by. You know, as long as you're running by an enemy and they're close enough, whatever, it'll do a little mini explosion on them. And that's going to do 85.8% .8 of your skill damage. Once you activate the ability again, or it ends and you do your final explosion, that's going to do 7,414% of your um, ability damage or your ability power. So that's what that is. Your explosive damage range is six meters. So once you finally do your big explosion at the end, that's a six meter radius and the max expend, uh, extendable range is 200%, just like everything else. <clears throat> now, the buff that you receive at the end of this ability, once you complete the final explosion, is called madness. The duration on that is 10 seconds. Now, your firearm attack increases by 25% after that for 10 seconds, and your movement speed increases by 30%. And then your the defense decrease amount is 30%. So, 
uh, what this is looking like, you're kind of getting screwed over by <laughs> defense. But at least you get 25% firearm attack and you get 30% movement speed. So you can get the gun running and gunning, mowing stuff down after you pop this juicy boy. Oh, so there you go. Now, what I wanted to say, we'll get to the passive, but what I wanted to say was um, his abilities are fairly cheap when it comes to MP cost. So you can spam a lot of these. Like, to be honest, you can you can spam quite a bit of these, right? Uh, because they're pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. Now, let's go over the passive. Then I want to explain one more thing uh, that I personally feel about him. So your passive is called um, whatever habit. That word and habit. Uh, skill description. Drops a bomb on the ground when the shield is completely depleted. Basic information of this. Cooldown is 30 seconds, so only every 30 seconds can you do that. Um, the skill effect is a burst damage, which does 1,617% of your skill power. Explosive damage range is 4 meters, and you can only increase that by 200%, like everything else. Now, this one, this passive is pretty nice, especially let's say you're doing, you're running around or whatever, whatever and you get swarmed by a bunch of enemies, they break your shield. Well, bam, now you're going to drop a grenade on their mouth and blow it smooth off. So it's a solid, like, close quarters type of deal, especially if you're getting busted on uh, by melee units. You could do some good damage. So there's that. So <clears throat> I want to showcase these abilities real quick. Um, and then I will go over a couple different things, right? Because he does have transcendent mods. So we'll go over that. So first off, let's just go over the core mechanics of him. So easy mo, your first ability... You're gonna shoot a mine and it's gonna connect now you can shoot it at the floor too if you want and there's your explosive radius now as you can see if that one will, okay there we go they will explode after a certain amount of time and as you've seen the damage I think that said like 74,000 now there's your 74,000 but let's say you want to go ahead and get some more damage out of it you would use your second ability to detonate it well, that was a crit. I don't want to hit a crit. One second. Let me <laughs> let me re let me refresh this. Is that gonna explode already? Okay. So, without a crit, you go from seventy four thousand ninety three thousand. Now remember, the second ability also increases with depending on how many um, stuff you have attached. So. We went from 70 whatever thousand to 90 something thousand just by using the second ability to manually detonate. So let's, so let's go ahead and put two on there. So we go from 90 something to 111,000 if you manually detonate uh, with two stacks. Now instead of going to two, three, four, and then five, we're just going to go straight to five stacks and see. So look, two stacks was about 111,000. All right, so with five stacks... Uh, I think that was like 160,000. I can't be too sure. Hey, you guys just go ahead and pause that. Or actually, I'll slow motion it on the editing <clears throat> and put the number up on the screen. Now, let's go ahead and see. Look at this uh, the landmine. So remember, it has a radius. We'll put one down way over here. So there we go. In this whole range, anything that runs in this range, this mine is going to come up and just connect straight to it. So. Just to show you, look. It went straight to connect to them. Now, I'm going to let you see the explosion damage without activating the second ability. 194,000. So this one does a lot more damage than your first ability, but you get less of them. So let's go ahead and uh, use it again, but this time we're going to use the ability. Or use our second, so we're going to manually detonate it. As you see, 242,000. So went from like 190 to 240. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put all three on there and see what the damage increase is there because of our second ability. We're going to manually detonate this. There we go. Three of them's on there. 339,000. So with three stacks, uh, all three stacks of the landmines, pretty good. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Oh, there you go. Now, I want to show you the ult. We're going to do the ult two times, okay? So remember, he has two attacks on this ult. Let's go ahead and look at our fourth ability. Remember, there's two attacks. When you do a, your drive-by, you get 
some damage, and then when you pull up on them and explode, you do some damage. So let's do our drive-by first. Wrong ability, but it didn't connect. <laughs> Alright, drive-by time. Has you seen that? I couldn't see the damage, so I'm gonna have to like slow-mo it and check it out and put the number up on the screen here, but you seen we just ran right by him, it did an explosion and knocked them back. Which that's what the that's what that does. Now let's go ahead and see what the damage is on the final explosion. So I'm gonna have to slow mo this and, and show it. I'll I'll just slow motion the video really slow just so you guys can see that number. I don't I don't know what that was. Maybe it was like one million. I'm assuming but anyways now we've seen the drive-by and the pulling up now let's go ahead and see what that um the buff that we get remember we get a buff after we use it for 25 percent firearm attack increase and 30 percent movement speed so so let's go ahead and pop our ult explode now let's see what we're looking like 115,000 116 yeah. So you get a little damage increase there. Um, the numbers were straight out wonky. Um, but you did see there was a slight increase in damage. So there we go. So that's really um, everything about him in a nutshell. I can't really showcase the passive in here because I don't know how I'm going to take damage. But yeah, so that's his, ab that's his core abilities. Now, real quick, I want to go over his... Um, his all of his transcendent mods. So you see, I have three of them. So I want to go ahead and go over those. So the first one we're going to look at is explosive propaganda. Now explosive propaganda, what it does is it changes your third ability. So instead of dropping landmines, I'm going to show you. You throw out a little decoy. Now this will take some aggro of some enemies and stuff like that, and then it'll prematurely explode. We're going to manually detonate this. On a crit, 601,000. Not too bad, not too bad. So that's what explosive propaganda is. It drops out a little mine. And there you go, he's flexing because he thinks he's that guy. But he ain't buffered to me, so I don't even care. And then he explodes after some time. <clears throat> so let's go ahead and look at the stats real quick. So, fire tech. Explosive propaganda. So the the summon or the the dummy that you summon has a cooldown of 45 seconds and an MP cost of 25. HP and defense is equal to whatever you have. So it'll copy me, my HP and my defense. The duration is eight seconds long and the taunt range is only six meters. So it's only gonna taunt things that walk into that radius. Uh, once it explodes, it does 1,878% of your skill power. Explosive radius is only four meters, so half of the range that you know it taunts, and the, you can increase this by two hundred and fifty percent. So you can make um, the range a lot larger. So that's explosive propaganda, one of his transcendent mods. Now let's go ahead and look at um, explosive evade, which is one of his other transcendent mods. Now explosive evade, what it does is. It's a passive ability. It's a passive ability. So let me go ahead and show you. So place a guiding landmine when rolling. Simple, clear cut and dry. Now, once you place this one, so this guiding landmine is a little bit different than the than the skill three that you get. So the cooldown on this is twenty seconds. So you can only roll and drop a mine every twenty seconds. I'm pretty sure you can reduce that, but we'll slap a mod on just to see. So, anyways, so a twenty second cooldown, guiding landmine, detection range is ten meters. If you look at the regular one, detection range is 10, 10 meters. Um, detonation or uh, detection duration, 40 seconds, just the same as your third ability. Now where it changes is the burst damage. So your skill, it takes 1,276.7% of your skill power, and that's how much damage it will do. And your regular ones only do 1,061%. So this one does a little bit more damage, but it's on a longer cooldown. And the radius is four meters, max animal is you know the same. 200%. So let's go ahead and show you this. It's simple, clear cut and dry, really. I guess we can look at damage difference, I guess. So I roll out the way, connect to him, explode it. 
291,000. Pretty cool. I don't even know why I came over here. I already have my third ability. Whatever. So let's go ahead and look at... Whatever. Bam, now your regular third ability. 242,000. So it's just a... The, the rolling one is just a little bit higher in damage, like just a little bit. Now, remember, we have absolutely no mods on, and this is a level one dummy that we're using this on. Um, the reason why I use a level one dummy, just in case anybody wants to know, is because I'm not, I just want to look at everything's, like, quote unquote, max potential without any uh, armor reduction modifications or resistances um, that are upscaled, depending on the level. So when I'm doing these test some builds and stuff like that. I'm not saying what you're doing is, I'm not saying you, you come in there with a level, with, well, he's not level zero, but if you go into a interception with nothing on here, you're not gonna do 200,000 damage. It doesn't matter. I mean, interception bosses anyways have absolutely absurd um, defenses anyways. So your damage is severely reduced when you fight an interception boss. I mean, that's just that. But even if you go fight a level 100 and you go do a dungeon and stuff like that, yeah, you're not going to do the damage numbers that you're seeing in here because they're not level 1. They have higher armor rating and stuff of that nature. So instead of trying to calculate all of that, I go to a level 1 character just so that way we can see the weapons closest to true damage as possible. I'm not sure what the armor rating is on level 1 enemies. I don't know if they even have armor ratings, but that's why we test on that. I just want to see what it's max potential is because that determines whether or not this will do well in any other you know level in my personal opinion that's just for me i'm just saying if you don't like testing on this because you feel like it's disingenuous then just put them at level 100 i mean it's not that hard <laughs> anyways that's his other transcendent mod um um explosive evade now let's look at his third transcendent mod it's called cluster bomb now this one is interesting to me and i will most likely be testing this one out just to see if it if it's worth using if it does more damage so oh uh, yeah let me just show you so cluster bomb um what it does is it detonates and um detonating an attached bomb creates additional explosions at the designated or at the uh detonated location now, on paper, or just from that basic description, it sounds amazing, sounds cool, sounds like you're going to dish out stupid bad fat daddy damage. The caveat to that is now, you instead of getting the five stacks, you only get two. You see what I mean? So, because you remember um, the one before this, or without this mod on, this ability gives you a maximum of 5 stacks, 25% increase per stack of bomb that's connected to whatever target, as long as you detonate it. But this one, basic information, so you still got the 10, 10 second cooldown, 15 um, MP cost, but you're explosive. This is going to drop... No, actually, I think I'm I think I'm capping it, y'all. Let me... One second. I think I might be capping to y'all. Ooh. It's worse than I thought. Okay. So. Alright. Yeah. No, it's worse than I thought it was. Um, You don't get any damage increase per stack. So, uh, we just tested it. And the way that you can tell um, if you get damage per stack is the second ability, if you don't have the Transcendent Mod, each time you connect it to... Each time you connect to an enemy, you'll see your second ability glow like orange, right? And it'll have a number underneath it with, you know, you're kind of like filling up a cup, right? So one puts one fifth, you attach another one, then it goes up a little bit, you attach another one. You know what I'm saying? You you get the point. Until it's all the way full, then it starts like having an animation around it. That means you're at maximum stack capacity. So you can detonate it to get the maximum, you know, damage increase. With this, there is no stacks, Explosive. The amount is it drops two additional bombs on the floor once exploded. So you get your base explosion, and then this drops two extra bombs. And those bombs only do 27.3% of your skill power. The explosive damage range is 3.5 meters, 
which you can expend by 200%, and then it also burns your target. So continuous burn is only 24.9% of your skill power um, at one second intervals and a duration of five seconds. So you get five ticks of burn damage at 24.9% of your skill power. Now, let me go ahead and show you that. So we connect it onto her and let's go ahead and detonate it. So as you've seen, you do your explosion and it drops two little bombs. Those two little bombs explode and then they catch on fire. I'm gonna be honest here. Although it sounds good, I don't know if it will be good. You get what I'm saying? If we're talking about pure raw burst damage, get as much damage out in the shortest amount of time possible, I do not think Cluster Bomb is the way to go just because you miss out on that 25% increase and stuff like that. So I don't recommend that to be honest. As far as I know now, like I said, um, I'm still working on them, building them out and stuff like that. I just want to see. Obviously, you see I got to use some uh, catalyzation. Wow. Crystallization catal... Ca crystal... These formas, okay? I got to use these formas on him a couple times just to get him to where I want him to be. But I don't know. I feel like this might be a net loss in DPS. And especially to be a transcendent mod, I feel like... Eh, you know, that might be trash, but we're still going to test it anyway. So I'm going to, you know, dump and waste a whole bunch of materials on this thing just so that way I can be disappointed for you guys. So you don't have to do it. <laughs> but that's, um, that's what Cluster Bomb is. And it's okay. It's cool. In theory, maybe if you decided, you know, I want to use a fire weapon, put fire on there and do a fire build, whatever, you know, maybe if you want weapon DPS. But if you're talking about just ACMO as a skill build, which that's what he's, that's what his stuff is geared around, is to just as much damage out as possible. I don't know how I feel about Cluster Bomb. But like I said, we're going to do some testing and get it all figured out. <clears throat> so that's ACMO or SEMO, Eskimo. I don't know. You know, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. But that's him in a nutshell. So that's how you use him. Now, I don't know. No, I do know. He's not too great when it comes to crowd control. You know what I mean? Like, you're not going <clears> to <throat> go and deal with a whole bunch of enemies all at once, especially because they be more sporadic. They don't just be all clumped up all the time. And because his bombs and the way his kit works, either you attach it and let it, de let it detonate all on its own, or you attach bombs and detonate it man uh, manually with your second ability. Um, it's just, he seems to be more of a bossing type of character to where there's only one target that you got to deal with and you just focus on you know getting your bombs on him that way that's what he seems to be so i wouldn't recommend using him if you're gonna like you know do anything else but bosses <laughs> yeah, honestly so that's ac mode in a nutshell he might be good i i really want him to be good so i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what i can hey look so that's really uh, Isimo. There isn't really much else to say about him. Hey, so if you guys got any ideas and or thoughts on how we could possibly build him, hey, drop it in the comment section. You know what I mean? Uh, really, I, I like reading you guys' comments. I read all your guys' comments all the time. Um, it's I, I, I like doing that. So if you guys have any ideas on how you think we can build him, build him out to maximize or pull out his true potential. Hey, give me some thoughts here. You know what I mean? Comment in the comment section below what you guys thinking. You know, maybe we'll implement, well, not maybe, most likely we'll implement some of your guys' um, thought processes in here to try to maximize his uh, damage output. So, like I said, I got some work to do on him. So I got to slap a couple formers on there. There are a couple like staple mods that's gonna be on there, especially, obviously, fire skill power and um, the tech skill power. What I want to test out, though, is we want to test out... I'm probably going to keep this one, too. We'll see, though. But what I want to test out is, you know, okay, does crit, does the crit build benefit him in the, in the slightest? Maybe it does, maybe it doesn't, but that's why we're going to test. If you guys have any ideas, I know I said this 70 times already, drop it in the comment section. 
for the next video when we do the part two where we showcase a build for him and you never know we might actually go ahead and use one of them transcendent mods go ahead and max that out because it might aid in our dps endeavors so there there we go guys if you guys enjoyed this video if you know you guys are interested like i am intrigued to see ecmo put in that work um drop a like you know comment on the video let's get some ideas on how we could build him uh to maximize him this is us building not just me so uh drop some comments and let me know what you guys are thinking and then we'll go ahead and grind it out test a couple things out and make some make a video on it show you guys what's 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 good anyways uh, subscribe to the channel so that way i can afford a shirt and hey thank you guys for watching and until next time